good. I gotta get the books. Why do you have to go to make things so complicated? See the whole way you're acting like somebody else gets me frustrated. Life's like this, you fall and you crawl and you break and you take what you get and where the hell is my book? Honestly, it pumps me and I'm gonna find you fake No, no, no. Sierra and this is Reading Arsenal. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my TBR for the Read A Thon, which is a Canadian readathon hosted by many a booktuber, notably Books and Lala, Joss from Scribbles Read. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can find out more about the event, which happens from July 1st to July 8th. Basically, the Read A Thon for those who don't know, is a Canadian readathon where we're going to be reading Canadian authors and you don't have to be Canadian to participate. It's just something more interesting to uh, delve into because if you did not know, there are quite a few Canadian books out there that people just don't know that the author's Canadian. So I'm going to, my TBR is gonna be very small for this readathon because for the the last readathon TBR that I did for the Diversathon was very large. And at that time I was not reading so many books. So I completely failed at that, but it was an okay video. But anyway, this is gonna be my TBR for the readathon. And um, during the readathon, I may vlog, no promises on that. And there are challenges. More information on the challenges are in the description. You don't have to follow the challenges if you don't want to. Kayla explains it better in her announcement video. Without further ado, let's begin with my TBR. These books are in no particular order. I'm probably not going to be following any of the challenges, but this first book follows under the challenge, read a book by an indigenous author. This book is by a Métis author, uh, The Marrow Thieves by Cherie Demelin. Uh, you may have seen this book everywhere on booktube or in my collective book haul, but basically as a recap, this book is set in a dystopian world where people can't dream. It is found that indigenous people's bone marrow, if you consume that bone marrow, you will be able to dream. So they decided to capitalize on that resource and decided to start killing indigenous people for their bone marrow. This book is very short, so it will probably be suited for this readathon and the author is also Canadian and falls in under the challenge of an indigenous author. Super excited to get into this during the readathon. Hopefully I actually remember to do this readathon and it'll be great. Milk and Honey by Rupi Kaur. This is just a collection of her illustrations and her poetry and prior to this I had not read anything by Rupi Kaur yet. Um, I've heard like so much hype around this and it's also very short so and it's poetry perfect mix for a readathon i'm super excited and yeah and i also have her second book so if i have time i may pick up her second book if i'm feeling motivated to read more books during the readathon the last book i'm going to read is a reread but i haven't read it since my last year of high school which was a about. I graduated in 2014 and it's 2018 so what it was about four years ago which is crazy to think that I graduated high school four years ago but the book I'm talking about is Oryx and Crake by Margaret Atwood. This is the first book in the Mad Adam trilogy and this book is set uh, this is sort of like a prequel to the trilogy. It is set in a dystopian world. This character named Snowman who is originally and it's sort of has snowman flashing back on sort of what caused this dystopian apocalyptic world and is the world really that thing it's very very difficult to explain but this is sort of a sci-fi by one of the most uh famous authors in canada and around the world uh, margaret atwood this is my copy that i actually read in high school but 
I don't have any notes or anything in here. It'll be interesting to go back and kind of remember what I initially thought about the book because I do remember certain moments that I really was like, whoa, okay, what is going on? I was a very stressed out person in high school. It was very hard for me in terms of understanding, but hopefully for a readathon, this will be fine. It is also about... Three hundred and eighty-nine pages, and like I said, it's a reread, so it it'll probably go more much more smoothly the second time. So these are all the books I'm planning to read for the read a thon. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and hit subscribe and the bell icon because YouTube is buggy as heck. But even though you know it might not work because why would it, right? Also, I have all my social links linked in the description, including the Goodreads pages for all of these books. Um, hopefully, I will be doing a vlog during this readathon, but no chances because I have a full-time job now, so yay me! Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! And on and on we'll go Dance through the highways Hello